Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Stellaris and the Empire of Dragonia. Let's uh, get right back into it. We're building a colony ship to go over here and colonize this world. Um, we are also integrating the Obha. And uh, then we will integrate the Cerulean Star Empire. Uh, who do you... What do you colonize again? You are Arid. Oh, that's pretty good. Um... We'll definitely want to integrate them when we're done. Uh, Chipu is done, so we should have you build something. You just finished. Um, hmm. Not sure what there is to really build right now. I mean, I could go for more uh, frontier outposts. That's an idea. We also have a continental world that I could uh, um, go with. What do we have here? Uh, tropical. There are a lot of habitable worlds here. Colonizable. There's a lot of minerals there. Where's this energy all? Got two there. And three there. And this continental world. Which is only size 13. That's probably the better place to go. Well, I suppose that place might not be too bad either once we get it cleared. The question would be what would be, you know, what would be preferable in terms of uh, adjacency? I don't know. I think we're a little bit away from uh, colonizing that, though. Um, we do need to gain some of these uh, places. Where is the power here? The power is up here. Not a whole lot in that Arctic world. But that would probably gain... A okay, let's... Uh, Why can I not... Oh, that's that's right. That would do it. Um, hmm. Is this within our space yet? Nope. It's a desert. I'll eventually be able to uh, colonize that. really nothing else over here. What about, uh... What's a tropical world? And I'm basically taking advantage of most of the other stuff here. What about, uh, what do we have here? That's... Both of those are colonizable worlds. Okay. Hmm. There's not really a whole lot else to, uh, take advantage of right now. That's not in our system yet, which, or our space yet, which is kind of annoying. Alright, let's just, um... Uh, enter orbit here. Oh, I should probably, uh, do something about, uh... Our armies. Go ahead and land armies there. Where are you? You're up there. Okay. Go ahead and land armies here. There we go. Okay. You're repairing. Incoming transmission. Okay. You want a civilian access and star charts. Like a Nogian Galactic Union. Executive Torba Malas thinks this deal would be of interest to you. Do you accept? Nope. I mean, I can't... I can't get through your... Get to your space anyway, so... I don't know why you would want... Uh, uh, civilian access. 
but at least it looks like they may be more willing to give civilian access. I also don't really want um, star charts, although, man, it is going to be forever before I can do any uh, surveying and that stuff. I will literally have to get up through these guys, and then up through here, and then down. Either that, or uh, take these guys out! <laughs> ah, good joke. Um, yeah, they're militant isolationists. We're at plus 33% at least. That is a good thing. I love that. I love that world. That is, that is such a good world. I love that that appearance. It's not the only one. I, I think I, I've seen some. Uh, I've seen them randomly uh, crop up in uh, other systems, but they're pretty rare. Construction complete. Anomaly found. Ooh, yes. And this is one of the reasons why I don't take star charts, because this was in um, Hazari space. Admittedly, he has not surveyed it because there were the uh, um, enemies there, but. Basically, there is a chance of getting an, anom an anomaly on every single world or something like that. That's my... Uh, that's my uh, uh, understanding, at least. Okay. Anomaly. Viscaran's Maw. Rainbow in the Dark. Sensors pick up unusual readings in the vicinity of Viscaran's Maw. Readings that are hard to explain, being this close to a black hole. Alright. Grigory is the highest... Uh, um, skill level that we can get. Um, it, is an, it is a level 3 anomaly. He has a 15% chance of failure. Let's research it. Let's see what we get. I, l I love the anomalies. This is one of my favorite things about the game. Construction complete. I love seeing what, what weird stuff there is and, and things like that. Uh, you guys... Come over here. That's fine. Alright, Dawn finished its uh, spaceport construction. You got an observatory. Don't quite remember going for the observatory, but whatever. Uh, it's a big world. It will probably get a lot of uh, um, research eventually if we do that. Um, actually, what I could do is... set this sector to uh, research focus. That would that would do it. Yeah, let's see what we get out of that. And Nidhogger finished its surface construction. What are you building? What were you building? Okay. Let's go with Mining Network 2. Power Plant 2. Got the Hyper Entertainment Forum. So that bumps um, up to 70% happiness. I don't know why there's no happiness bar there. I don't know if that gives any uh, boost yet. I think, you m I, I think you do get a boost, but I think you have to be a uh, higher happiness than that to get the boost. Research complete. Okay, quicksand basin removal. Introducing hydrogels engineered for stabilization allows for near instantaneous solidification of quicksand basins. Neat. Genome mapping, leader lifespan plus 10 years, food plus 10%, uh, arid colonization. Um, ooh, these are all good. Uh, Azurius would be better with this, but more colonization would be good. More food would be good for those worlds that are growing, especially the poorly managed AI-controlled sector worlds. Uh, it would also be pretty quick. Um, I don't really care that much about Arid right now, though. I want Desert. So let's go for that. Failure! Science Officer Grigory Krasikov has issued a report indicating that there 
they are none too pleased having been ordered to study Viscaran's Maw, where they have found nothing of interest. Oh, Well, at least nothing bad happened. Uh, recruitment of armies is completed there. Alright, you're just moving. That's fine. Alright, well... You are still surveying? Okay, that's fine. Or 133. System survey complete. Debris analyzed. Okay. So there is quite a bit of uh, physics research to have here. Oh! Aha! Here we go! It doesn't actually mention that it's been uh, um, broken. I love that though. Isn't that isn't that great? That is just gorgeous. I want this to be the thumbnail. <laughs> I want this to be the thumbnail. This is like one of the main reasons why I play the game. All right, let's uh let's bring you up here to research all of these. You can, I guess, come down here. There should be some over here, yep. Okay, we'll, we'll uh, decide some other stuff to research after that. We got uh, Cloud Lightning Conduits plus 20%, Physics Research and Society Research plus 10 and plus 5. That's good. Okay, we got our uh, Frontier Outpost down here. Come on, give me, give, me some, give me some space. There we go. Okay, and that is within our borders now. We'll need to get, get that, uh, you know what, actually... Yeah, we'll come down here. Uh, it's going to take us a little while to get that much uh, um, uh, influence back. Uh, how are you doing up here? I'm growing so slowly. I'm constructing a hydroponics garden uh, farm there. I mean, uh, not, not a hydroponics, a uh, power plant one. Yeah, that's good. This could be upgraded. I have 10k uh, minerals. I need to use these things. Let's go ahead and upgrade this. Not sure if I want to upgrade those just yet, though. Ethics divergence. Oh, distance from capital 11. Wow, that is... Man, I need the orbital mind control lasers. <laughs> Construction complete. Those are a thing, and they're awesome. All right, Camelot finished surface construction queue. I think that might have been the Hyper Entertainment Forum, up to 78%. That's excellent. Um, at this point, I could probably get rid of this system. They're not producing any research. I could probably... I could put this system into a... Um, a sector. I am tempted to do so, although there's a lot of power in this in this system itself. Uh, three, two, and two. Not sure if I want to do that. We'll hold off on it. What exactly is costing me all this? Because that is a, that is a lot. How are these sectors doing right now? You're still negative. <sighs> and it's because they built that friggin' building that, that they shouldn't have. Would I want it on Draconis? See, I don't know that I would want it on Draconis. I might want it on another world. But I am getting a lot of research out of this. Well, comparatively. Compared to other worlds. 
eight, six, nine. So yeah, I, I think I would want to. Um, and I've got my uh, uh, research output there. I need to get another world colonized up here. Um, I can't colonize anything else there yet. I suppose I could put uh, this system in. How are you doing? Alright, you're doing pretty well. I was gonna replace this with the Hyper Entertainment Forum, wasn't I? Or did I already do that? Do I already have that queued up someplace? Aurelium Explosives fa Factory. Oh, Empire Unique. I'll have to keep that in mind. Uh, oh, Hem Hyper Entertainment Forum. Yeah, I was gonna build that here. And what am I actually building here? I am building that. Okay, let's swap these around for now. Okay. Uh, this is going to suck a little bit, but... Because uh, I'm going to have to uh, lose 25 uh, um, prestige to do this. Or not prestige, influence. And how much is this? I should probably look for a mod that lets me directly uh, control what these people are building. Jeez, Ethics Divergence, 22.1%. Is that all distance from... Oh, also managed by Sector. Ugh. Uh, but yeah, I don't want this here. So, okay. doesn't say if it costs any uh, influence to build, so it doesn't look like it. It's an empire unique. Okay. All right, let's do this. All right, here be dragons. Let's manage. All right, we will need to put this sector and this sector in. There we go. And temporarily pull them out. There are systems that are not connected to their sectors. Yep, that'll that'll be uh, fixed soon. I'm actually surprised that I could do that. Okay. What is actually here? There is nothing actually here on this tile. So, replace this with a Hyper Entertainment Forum. Then we go back in. Manage sectors. There we go. I don't have any other uh, frontier outposts around here, do I? Doesn't look like it. Just that one down there. Okay, so that costs some... Uh, um, some influence to do, but that's kind of what we have to do. Um, let's see, there's one there, one there, one there, one there, and that's basically it. Uh, I think I would rather build it here and get the physics. Alright, I'm just gonna have to wait until it, it shows up as a... Uh, until this thing is done. Let's see, how long is that gonna take? Because you're not actually building anything. 720 days, wow. I wish I could alert myself when that was done. This world is basically full, yep. And what have I done with the Here Be Dragons sector in terms of focus? Alright, you are on a financial focus. And now you are getting a ton. Okay, that's good. We are positive as well. 
because we are no longer over our limit. Ninety nine out of one thirty nine. I gotta build some more uh some more ships. Can't upgrade that. Alright, let's go with that. There we go. Debris analyzed. Construction complete. Didn't actually get anything out of that debris. That's unfortunate. Spaceport here has finished its construction. I am not sure exactly what you were building. Construction ship infinity. Did you actually build a construction ship? I think they did. I think that they did. I am kind of impressed by that. Research complete. Yeah, they did. Huh. Oh, that's fine by me. All right, we've completed genome mapping. Mapping uh, the genome of an individual through the sequence of their DNA opens up for tailored medical treatments and therapies. New research, xenodiplomacy, deep sinkhole removal, or xenobiology. I think we want uh, deep sinkhole removal. Because that will help our uh, colony over here. Well, not that one. Uh, this one, I don't know if they've removed anything yet. I think they did. I think there was, like, one right there or something. Could be wrong. Why are you not working this food... Why are you not working this <laughs> farm? You idiots. It's terrible. Can I recolonize this yet? Nope. Don't have desert colonization yet. So apparently protectorates can colonize, because these guys are a protectorate. I was not complete. aware of that. I know vassals can't. Spaceport of Tyrant Thraxis has finished its uh, construction. Uh, I guess you were upgrading? I don't know. Is there anything that I want to build here? Not really. Not right now, at least. Debris analyzed. Anything good? Uh, physics research plus five. Not really. Construction complete. Debris analyzed. 476 days. Nidhogger finished surface construction. Okay, uh... I don't know that there's much else to build here. You are losing a lot of power, though. This, this planet is really being subsidized by other stuff. Which is okay. We are now getting a plus 10 power, so that's good. Um, ah, yes. Uh, I built some more mining networks and the hyper-entertainment forum. So that's good. I would like to get some more... Debris I really analyzed. do need to get a, get more power. Uh, plasma accelerators, plus 20% progress. Uh, physics research, plus 20. And engineering research, plus 5. Excellent. Uh, cave carrot is done. Let's see. There's some stuff over here that we can research. And there should be some stuff up here that we could research. So we'll go get those, too. Now we're coming along here. Debris. No resources spent are refunded. Ooh, yeah, okay. So, yeah, we don't really want to do that. 136 months remaining. Excellent. Got a little bit more physics research there. They're only getting plus five here, which is a little bit annoying. Where, do you, where are you? 
Oh, you can't land there. Alrighty then, um, how about you come down here and land in Stardew. In fact, if that's going to be the case, let's go ahead and build some more uh, assault armies, so that we've got them. It's good to have lots of armies. The Otega Interplanetary League has declared unidentified uh, Empire rival. Otega Interplanetary League. I don't remember these guys. Ah, these guys. There's clearly someone right there. How's the human commonwealth doing? They are pathetic. Yeah, it sounds like humans. <laughs> the Glirian Republic. Ah, oh, they're over here. Weird. Unemployed pops here on Drakenfells. Alright. What can we build? I mean, with all of this extra... Um, all these extra minerals, we probably want to just start building some stuff. Um... And there are some things that can be uh, improved. I don't know that I want to improve those just yet. How much food are we getting? 17. Wow. All right, I'll leave this as is for now. You're not doing anything, so actually, um, let's get the growing pop here. Cued construction for the Hyper Entertainment Forum there. probably build some more power. That works. Uh, Robin is done. Okay. Um, that's in our system, but I don't really care about it right now. That's not... We need more power. Right, you're down here. We did get a ton of stuff with this system. You know what? Ooh. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Screw it. Let's just go build mining stations and build research stations. It's going to use a lot of power, though. I'm going to need to do debris something about that. Analyzed. Uh, analyzed debris in Hazi. Didn't get anything out of it. Debris analyzed. Did not get anything out of that debris. That's unfortunate. I wish you would at least know what Research you'd get. Complete. It's ruling Star Empire. All right, deep sinkhole removal. Specialized aerosol construction stabilizers can be used to quickly and cleanly seal existing sinkholes, as well as stabilize any subterranean hollows that may give rise to them. Nice. So, naval capacity, uh, terrestrial sculpting, terraforming sculpt uh, stations, or... Uplift. Oh, so many good things. Uh, really want the uh, um, desert colonization, though. Terraforming could be really good, because uh, then we could say, essentially, screw these worlds that we can't colonize, you will be something else! Not that I have the uh, energy credits for it at all. Uh, huh. I mean, I'm not even using my uh, naval capacity right now, so I'm not too concerned about that. I should be working towards that, though. Uh, let's go with terrestrial sculpting, get that knocked out. I guess since we're not doing much else, um... That's a desert world. Okay, you guys, in your spaceport, you do have a Corvette assembly yard. Um...
You don't need this. So let's replace this with... Uh, Fleet Academy, a chance to evade, and uh, a chance to evade would, is, is just all around good. I can't build either of those here. Yeah, so let's go with that, and then we will build a bunch of Corvettes, just to, uh, you know, get us closer to our, uh, our naval capacity. And, you know, I mean, they're kind of cannon fodder, so... Debris analyzed. I got a few more points of uh, research. Haley Zeal is uh, done. All right, what else do we have? Nothing else in either of any of these. Nope. All right, what do we have? Alright, you're not going to any of this, so let's go research that, and that. There we go. Just in case we get anything good out of them. Uh, Chipu has uh, completed uh, construction. On a SCAT-2. Get some more power out of that. We do have this colony ship. Oh, size 20 as well? Oh, this might just be a power world then. Hmm. Where would be good to uh, actually put this thing down? I'm kind of thinking right here. I mean, I'll need to move it. It's not the best place. Um, because I'll have to... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just say screw it and tile over these two. Um, but getting uh, adjacency on the two power there... I don't know what I want to do about this one. Building up the... Uh, uh, I mean, using this for power minerals would, would not be uh, bad. aren't really very many good places to, and like objectively good places to uh, um, build your your uh, like the colony thing here all right well let's go ahead and colonize it uh, for now, I don't really want the food that you're going to get out of this thing, because I want to reduce the uh, um, uh, divergence for as long as possible. So let's just go there. This will, of course, be uh, a little bit expensive. Are you still moving? Yeah, you're still moving. Okay. Um, now you guys... I haven't been paying much attention to my observ observation stuff. You guys are in the Steam Age. You should be growing, but you really aren't. It might be a, th uh, a thing with the... Uh, with that. Um, I do have a Frontier Outpost, so I could raise these guys up. A desert world. What kind of world is this? It is a continental world. It's a pretty big one. Now, my understanding is that the covert infiltration... How that works is that rather than um, raising them up as a protectorate, 
that will essentially raise them up as a um, just a flat member of your uh, empire. So there is that idea. We've got uh, individualist, xenophile, and materialist. These guys are pretty good, but given that they like continental worlds, I don't really want them to do anything. I mean, I don't want to use them to colonize in that, in that case. All right, let's take a look at you guys. This is an Arctic world. Collectivist, fanatic, spiritualist. Ugh. Look at all of the friggin' tile blockers on this world. They're in the machine age. So I could go, um, I could infiltrate these guys. Agents are genetically modified to appear as members of the native population and sent to infiltrate their society. They will gradually replace world leaders and prepare the planet for annexation by us. Complex operation is only worthwhile on industrial civilizations. So, I'm kind of tempted to do that. I mean, like, these guys, I would have rather they had just been, um brought in right away, so... Okay, I can't do it on them, but I can do it on these guys. Where exactly are they again? Ah, they're all the way up there. Okay. They've got five pops. Primitive factory, primitive factory, primitive farm, primitive farm, and there's nothing actually here. All right, let's actually go ahead and try this out. Um, it'll cost five energy and five uh, uh, society research. Covert infiltration. Now, this does not, uh, yeah, it does not interfere with the society research. So that's good. All right, we should probably call this an episode. Oh, we've got uh, this. In, this is in our system now. Now, this is showing uh, the OSS Fingov Adfin. This is actually a ship of theirs. The last time we uh, had active survey data on this system, um, that ship was in here, and it's not anymore, uh, pretty clearly. Um, but it's just still showing as uh, something there. Um, might want to go get the, get this, but uh, I need power. That is really what I need right now. There is not a whole lot of power out there. Uh, Dragonfells, of course, uh, as it grows, will get more power. Um, I think I'll be building mostly power on this. I mean, it's only getting plus one right now, so... Nidhogger is sucking up power like crazy. That's uh, pretty ridiculous. Um, Camelot is uh, creating a surplus, at least. Uh, Leffingwell. I need to rename this one. I don't know what I'll rename it to, though. Oh, I know, actually. Uh, this was a suggestion uh, for the Azure Bonds system, um, but I was basing this on the game Curse of the Azure Bonds as opposed to the book, so this name would not have worked there. Um, but it is a dragon name, so we will go for it here. If I can get it spelled right. There we go. This is the uh, the Red Dragon from the Azure Bonds novel. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. Uh, it's just the Red Dragon Mist. There we go. So let's go ahead and call this an episode. When we return, um, once this is 
ready to uh, put into um, you know once I've got uh, full pops on this world then I'm gonna put it into a um, a sector and that sector will also include this and probably this as well although I'll I might go up and around this way keeping this system for myself uh, we've got a colony ship heading over there to colonize. And I... There's a chance that we'll get this system. I kind of doubt it. There's a chance that we'll get this system. I kind of doubt it as well. But it's a possibility. I can't believe that they have not colonized this world yet. That's a good world! Holy crap! That's a really good world. That would be a fine place to go except for this. This would be a really good place to go for uh, all that bonus food. Wow. I think we'll, uh, when we go to war against these guys, I think we'll um, s just seed their world. I think that's what we'll do. I think that would be a, a much better idea. Now, you guys... We could go to war against them. Oh, oh. We actually cannot vassalize them. Because it's too much. Alright, um... We could liberate... Wait. Alright, yeah, they have too many things. We cannot actually uh, vassalize them right away. So, uh, liberation. Give independence to that world. All planets liberated in a war will form a new empire with the same ethos as the Liberator. Um, requires the planet to be occupied by an assault army. So, what we could do is have them seed a bunch of worlds and... Um, and then liberate something. Or we could just, uh, let's see. Seed, 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 and seed. Okay, so no. Couldn't do that, but we could... Let's see. Not quite. Alright, they've got multiple worlds in um, some of these systems. Alright, I'm going to look at this off camera and see what might be the best way to do this. Because uh, I do think that we want to do this. Uh, have to do some combination of seeding and liberating. Although, we'll have to create a sector pretty much right away. How are we doing on... We can only have three out of four sectors. Although, that might go up if we when we get them and when we integrate these guys. Uh, let's see. I was going to look at... I don't actually have any um, factions, apparently. Nope, I've got no factions at all. That's good. That is good. Um, but yeah. Since we can't do anything with these guys, I think we may just want to go seed some of these and liberate some others. So, anyway. Uh, I will call this an episode when we come back. I will have uh, looked over our war score requirements and um, we'll go in and uh, see what we can do with those guys. See you next time, everyone.